Oda just revealed to us Kid's backstory in the most recent SBS, and people are upset. And let's get into why. So, someone asked Oda, is there a reason why Kid and Killer became pirates? And what's the story behind Heat and Wire joining them? Oda responded gracefully saying, of course there's a story. These four were born on a certain island in the South Blue. Kid and Killer knew each other since they were kids. The country they live in is not allied with the world government, and a gang ruled the country as if they were royal. There are four districts on the island. Each of them have their own outlaw group, and the four leaders were Kid, Killer, Heat, and Wire, and there were conflicts every single day. One day, Kid's close friend was killed by the gang. Her name was Victoria S. Dodionaika. Kid and Killer's crush that was revealed in a previous SBS. Kid, in his rage, united the group of outlaws and took down the mightiest force in the country, the gang. That is when they all set sail on the Victoria Punk, which is definitely an homage to his childhood crush that died, Victoria. So, people are taking this SBS and they are running wild, saying, well, look at this, Oda is giving us Kid flashback in an SBS. There's no way we're ever going to get it in the manga. Oda's never going to touch on Kid's upbringing. That's all we're ever going to get from him, which I think is ludicrous. Just because we have a snippet of Kid's backstory in an SBS, in my opinion, does not mean that we are not getting a Kid flashback in the entirety of One Piece. There's no way. And if you read this backstory here, you can see that Oda is intentionally leaving some key details out of here. Instead of giving us the name of the island Kid grew up on, he just said a certain island. A little bit sus. And then he mentions that this island is not affiliated with the world government, but he didn't give us a reason why. Did they not pay heavenly tributes? Are they exiled from the world government? Did they commit some crime against the world government? We have no idea. And if you look at this, you can obviously tell that Oda is omitting these key details for a reason. He could have very easily given us the name of the island. He could have very easily told us why they're not affiliated or how the country got this way. But instead, he didn't. And also, because the story is starting to become more world government oriented with the Celestials, Imusama, Joy Boy, Revolutionaries, and Void Century, we can take a leap of faith and say, there's a good chance Oda is saving kids' world government-related backstory for when the world government does take that spotlight, and also for when he comes back in the line of sight with the crew. Because right now, he's off doing his own thing. There is no reason why we would get his backstory right here and right now when it has nothing to do with us. So that is my personal thought process on that. And also, combing through Twitter, because I love seeing what people have to say about it, I saw a really good comment that I stumbled upon, and it said, Why are people being so overdramatic about the SBS, calling it disrespectful to Kid? It's just the story about how Kid's crew was formed. The Heart Pirates backstory was also revealed in an SBS, and we have it right here. And it shows that the Heart Pirates were revealed, and even before this, there was another one that I saw, where even a portion of Law's backstory was revealed in an SBS before we even got it. And going even further back, because kid's backstory that we got in this SBS also referenced an older SBS where somebody asked, hey, Oda, Kid and Killer are the two who dislike Curry Udon, but what happened in the past to cause that? And Oda responds by saying those two are good friends, and at the same time, they loved being partners from the beginning. They took on Shirotun, Dorionaika, Chan together. That day they ate Curry Udon, and when they finished, they saw her whole body was dyed brown. The two laughed and she hit them both real good. It's a bitter memory of their youth. Yes, until the next volume. And you can look at this old SBS about Kid and Killer's childhood crush, and then you could compare it to today's SBS where Oda took the name Shirotun Dorionaika and he expanded upon that, giving her the first name of Victoria. And it's like, okay, Oda is taking an old SBS and he's adding to it. It is not a new concept, and you can even do that with kids' backstory. Maybe by the time we get kids' backstory in the manga or the anime, boom, we have much more to go off of than what seems to be the six sentences Oda gave us today. It wouldn't be new if Oda brought SBS material into the manga either. Because a good example, like going back to a couple chapters ago since it is related, Law got turned into a woman by Dot Q. 
the last chapter, we saw Luffy becoming an old man. We saw Chopper becoming old as well and Jinbei turning young. And boom, those were SBS materials. Oda drew Law as a woman. Oda drew Luffy as an old man in SBSs. And then we see it happen in the manga. It became canon. So this right here in Kid's backstory not being touched on ever again isn't likely. So with that being said, I just wanted to give my two cents on that because I saw a lot of people like jumping off the kid bandwagon saying, well, this is the end of kid. You know, like this guy's being fodderized. He's not going to get anything ever. Oda hates kid. I really don't think that's the case. I think it's just because we're not going to see kid for a while that Oda decided to give us something for kid for the kid fans. So with that being said, what do you guys think about kids backstory? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it too simple? Or do you think it is the perfect amount of mystery and ambiguity? Let me know down below. And also, do you guys think we'll ever get Kid's backstory in the manga? Personally, I think so. I feel like it would be kind of crazy not to think he'd get a backstory, considering how hyped up he is. But yeah, what do you guys think? What's your takeaway? Let me know down below.